New Year is fast approaching and one of the greatest joy of celebrating New Year is the only time our family can be together once again while other region has different style for preparing their feast. In today's video, I will show you one of the most common dish seen on the table of Asians celebrating New Year with their families. Once again, thanks for tuning in. It's Marvin checking in. The recipe that I'm going to show you is we called ginger scallion fish. And of course, we will use the whole fish for this dish. And the fish of choice is um, yellow croaker, I believe. Yeah, I think this is a yellow croaker. This fish is perfect for this dish as it has a firm and white meat inside. And to begin, we need to dry the first entirely, including the inside. So once done, we need to just set it aside and we will start chopping our ingredients. And for this recipe, we only need some ginger, a scallion, as this is the main ingredient for this dish, garlic for garnish later, and lemongrass just to add more aroma to the fish. These two are just optional. So to begin, the first thing we need to do is to put a layer of ingredients. There is no need for us to peel this ginger. Just layer this one here, the bottom. Next layer of ingredient will be, we'll just remove the roots. Don't throw the roots as we'll be using that one as another layer of flavor. Throw some little bit of leaves. And for the fish, we will just score the skin. both sides and we will transfer this one into our dish and we'll season it with salt including the inside with lemongrass we'll throw the lemongrass inside and some scallions and a little bit of ginger as well Add some pepper all right that's everything we need and we're ready to steam the fish to cook the fish it takes about five to eight minutes for a small fish like this so while we're waiting for the fish to cook we can now move on to our second part is to prepare all the toppings by start cutting the scallion we'll just thinly slice the scallions this is probably good enough we'll set it aside now for the ginger slice this one this is good enough we'll set it aside and for the garlic just cut it thinly now partially this is what the fish look like it's soft but it's not quite done yet so now the fish is halfway done. Now we can move on to make the sauce. First off, we need to add water, a little bit of soy, pepper, a little bit of salt. And if you like to use sugar, you can add it now. Uh, however, I'm not going to use sugar as I will be using a honey for this recipe. 
Um, I'm not going to cook the honey as there is a bad effect to us. And the reason behind that is heating honey is contraindicated as it causes adverse effect. It deteriorates the quality, loss its essential enzyme, nutrients. It also produces delirium effect into the body and it can be fatal at the same time. So never ever cook a honey. And that's according to National Center of Biotechnology. Wow. So there you have it. It looks like our fish is done. We'll just turn the gas off. We'll take the fish out. Okay, we'll just reduce this sauce a little bit. Now it's time for us to remove all this extra ginger and everything on the plate. Well, traditionally, they'll just leave it as it is. But for the purpose of this video, to make it more appealing for you guys, I will remove all the, the spices that I put in, such as this ginger. We'll take it out. And I will transfer this fish from one plate to another. As I will be using all these juices underneath. Well, the next step will be frying the ginger and the garlic. Now we'll just quickly fry the ginger. You can tell it's ready if you don't see bubbles in it. Now the sauce is cooler, now we can add our honey. And we'll just keep stirring until all the honey are mixed up to our sauce. Now we can throw it into our fish. We'll tap some ginger. And we will pour in some hot oil. And there you have it, a simple Asian dish, delicious and easy to make. Now, for my favorite part, the taste test. Mm. This dish is really good with rice. Oh my god, that's really good. Mm. Mm. 
If you have any questions about this dish, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe so I can create more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, and that bell icon as well so you will get notified once I upload a new video. And one trivia about this dish, usually in Chinese, they will not eat the whole fish at once. They will only eat the middle part as they will continue eating the fish on the next day. And the reason behind that is a good practice once they started something they have to finish it however this is just a small fish so technically I can't eat it in one CD and if you wonder why we have to cook the entire fish it's actually there is a reason behind it's intent to welcome prosperity for the entire year well once again thank you so much for watching my video until then see you next time